Hello ladies and gentlemen, I am Mini Pro 96 and the topic I would like to discuss about are futures of education. Now what is the futures of education? Well future education is for a student wants to have a good degree whether he or she likes to pursue their journey and what, what kind of major they want to apply whether if they're interested to take fine arts or engineering, nursing, uh, mechanics, or let's say drafting or design technology, for example. So the person wants to pick that major, and then later on, if, if that, whether he or she is interested to take the class, then they can take it. Or if they're not too crazy with that, or say, well, I don't like this major, I don't think it doesn't fit for me. And if, if that's not what they're fitting, then they can go somewhere else. So students have a choice. What they would like to do. What kind of decisions that they want to proceed in. And to find a way they want to, to have this driving education so they can get what they want. And the most important thing is, folks, is don't let nobody or anybody else try to tell you something different that you cannot do. Because what they try to do is that they're going to take advantage of you. They try to make you go somewhere else, somewhere far away of university or, or community college. If they try to talk you out of this, you say, I, I understand you're just trying to help me, but I'm going to do what I think is necessary and for my decisions. You know, you just speak to them in a nicely polite way instead of try to be aggressive to them and say, no, this is mine. This is my education. You know, you don't want to do that. But even though they're just trying to help you and make the right decisions of what you want to do, but unfortunately, in the, in the reality world, there's a lot of people that want to be social with you and they wanted to give you the right path for what you like to do. Or maybe your parents, they give you some, some advice of what edu any kind of future education that you like to do and find something particularly that you would like to do. Because, you know, let me just say this. In my experience, I had this happen to me once that a guy that he actually, he was giving me some advice of telling me that, oh, I should, I should go to university and get my master's degree. Well, the problem is, it's actually none of your, it's actually none of my business for somebody to tell me something like that. You know, and first of all, it's none of my business for, for somebody to tell me what to do. I'm going to do what I think is necessary, and I'm going to do whatever it takes to complete all of these classes and also get my associate's degree. Which, by the way, that's what I'm doing right now, getting my associate's degree at the community college. So this is a good, ex this is a good lesson learned for everyone that if they want to take that. So like I said, if anybody try to tell you something different or if they try to make or try to force your decision and say, oh, you should go there, you should go this, you should go somewhere far away. If they tell you that, don't let nobody try to talk you out of this because they, they want to make you go somewhere higher, like a higher level to think that you are a smart, intelligent person. But let's be fair about this. Going to school is the mean term of to learn right? You come to school, you come in to learn, you want to know the specific details of, of what this class is all about, okay? So since I've been in school, in college for five years, I've learned a lot of great experience that I've learned so much in college. There's two majors I apply. I went for drafting and digital media. Now these two majors that I apply these was, they were a very good learning experience, and it was. It's a very good learning experience, and I perceive that. I graduated with both technical degrees, and then I'm still continuing to go to school to get my associate's degree. See, that right there, it's my goal. My goal, my future education. Now, if you want to do that, if you want to proceed your education, and making sure that you're making these decisions fairly and accurately, that's great. It's learning about making decisions and understanding the mean terms of what we, how to be successful, right? But here's the thing, if somebody chooses to quit and don't want to get their associate's degree, 
or a bachelor or bachelor's or master's or even a doctor's degree, if they don't want to pursue that, then guess what? You will never be successful. You're not gonna try. And the reason why you're not gonna try, because if you think if you don't want to take these classes, you think classes is boring to you, you think education doesn't mean anything to you, and if, if that's the reality that you're in, don't be like that. You, your parents want to see something in you. You're either your friends or your family members, anybody who you, uh, who you associate with. Okay, so this is the good reality to say, I'm going to do this. I'm going to get my education. Do I allow myself to quit and give up and drop out of class and, and go somewhere else? Like, if that's the attitude that we should have in this, in this environment here, no. But on the positive note, you have to say to yourself, what am I going to achieve? What is it I'm going to do for the rest of my life that will help me get a job, a real job, where I can make extra money, so I can make a living for myself, for my family, and for my children. So, do you think that is the positive note to take that approach? Absolutely, folks. Absolutely. Because that's the whole meeting about what I'm talking about right now is learning about education. Uh, education is about learning details, learning the specific ways and it's all about leaderships, right? We're talking about leaderships, we're talking about uh, learning, we're talking about how can we visualize it, have this full concept knowledge of what we need to do here. You know, sometimes if, if a lot of people some days in this world, they, they kind of, they want to visualize it of what, what the class looks like. But let's say if, they, if they're learning inside or outside environment, if they want to have this, that's called self-educate. You know, if the person wants to self-educate, like in other words, it's called, it's a meeting term like, like educating themselves. They want to learn something new. They want to learn something they have never learned before. That's called self-educate. Like, that's what I do. I do self-educate. I educate myself to read books of arts. I started reading books about science, world history, politics. Now that's the whole meeting about that I've always liked to do. And also, by the way, there's one thing I want to mention is, is craft, like art craft, like paper craft. It's all about ideas, imaginations, and creativity. This is what everything combines. That's the reality, folks. This is what's going to help you to drive in for your future, your education, and also leaderships. Now let's say if you're making good grades, making fantastic grades, making B's and A's, and let's and if you graduate with a technical or associate's, a bachelor, a master's, or a doctorate, just remember one thing. I want you to start feeling appreciated of all of the accomplishments that you've done of all of your life. Even though it wasn't easy, but it was challenging, right? You went through some challenges that something was actually not too easy for you. And I understand that a lot of students that they kind of struggle in the path. They struggle, but what did they do? Can they fight back from it or do they quit and say give up? So what is the decision that you're going to do? Well, the decision is, is I'm going to fight back. And it does not matter how many times I'm trying, but I am definitely going to try, 100%. But you know, people, they want to see something in you to see if you have the ability to drive in and say, yes, I'm going to do this. So you have to think for yourself, right? You're going to have to start thinking for yourself what you need to do. What are some of the responsibilities that you need to take for the rest of your life? Also, I want to mention is, and since I've been in school, like I was saying before, since I've been in school for five years, I had great awards in my life. Great awards. Special awards. Number, number one, I graduated in drafting in digital media, which that's my, that's my major that I took in the past. Number two, I was awarded to be on the dean's list 
and chancellor's list. Number three, graduating and getting my diploma. It was a blessing feeling for me. And it was. And number four, I am so proud of myself of all the accomplishments that I have done in my life. Everything's been paid off. It's all about accomplishments and determination. That is the driving goal here. And I want you to take that, take this as a good, good approach. And if you can do that, I promise you, it'll definitely help you. And if it doesn't help, then keep trying. Don't just, I don't want you to allow yourself to give up and say, call it quits. I don't want to achieve my goals. I don't want to, I don't want to go to school. I don't want to get a job. I should probably work at McDonald's or Burger King or even work at a fast food or go to a Lowe's or Home Depot. Do you think that is the reality? That's, do you think that's the appropriate attitude to say? To say, I'm going to quit? No, it, it doesn't work that way. It doesn't. But the most, the most important thing is, is to understand it of your ideas. It's, it's important. It's all about your ideas and your creativity. And kind of like visualize it, right? You got to have to visualize what you need to do for the rest of your life. Like, what am I going to do? How can I see it for myself? What is some... I got to take some steps, right? Go step by step by step by step. And making sure that I'm doing the right thing and also improving my education. And also, teachers, they're coming here to teach you, right? They want to show you new things, new information. They want to show you all the details of what you need to learn about. Because in the long run, that's where you're going to go apply for a job of any, any area that you live in. So it does not really matter if you go to a community college or a technical college or even a university. It does not really matter where you go. But the most important thing is for you and for the rest of your life is for you to learn, expand, to grow. And also, what I want to mention is, is, is I want to help you, help you to learn, help you to grow and explore your journey. What I mean about exploring, I want you to start seeing the sites, see what college is. Well, let's say if you're going out in an outside environment, let's say if I'm going to a museum or an amusement park, or let's say if I go to like an entertainment shows. See, I'm growing, I'm learning, I want to see the sites, I want to do the rest of my exploring. I want to see everything. And that is the reality, folks. That is the great way to approach that goal right there. Because right now, most, most people think that they, if they, they're, like, they're questioning themselves and say, how can I achieve my education? Hmm, is there a way that I can try to solve it? Well, here's the thing. If you're thinking about yourself, if you're thinking about your future and your education, and if you're thinking to yourself, what do I have to do? What is the, the proper steps that I need to follow? Well, the prop, the, one of the things you can do is find a class that you're interested in. Find a class of what you're interested in and what is going to lead you. You know, Find something in particular that you have an interest in. in. Like my interest is that I like to do art, like painting. If that's your goal, if you like to do painting, then take the class. If you think painting is too hard for you, or if you not really don't really care too much, find something else. There's, there's everywhere. There's everything you can apply. Everything is available. Everything is available. But you just have to understand about what these classes are all about and what is the right decision that you're going to take. So, in my experience, I want to learn more. I want to start growing more. And I want to do the exploring. I want to explore more. I want to see the sites. I want to see something like in an outside environment. So that's what I'm doing. 
Or how about this? If you like to read books, okay, if you're interested in like to read books, if you go to the library, or let's say if you go to a bookstore, if you want to find something particular, what kind of books did you like to read? Let's say if you want to read a book about education, or let's say if you want to read a book about fictions, or let's say if you want to read about uh, history. Okay, that's a, that's, a, that's a good example right there. So if, if you like to read books, because first of all, reading books is a whole process of learning. Learning new things, learning opportunities. Because people think that because people say I don't like to read books. It's too much. I don't like. I hate. I don't understand these words. Uh, I hate reading books. I don't feel like reading a hundred thousands of pages. See, that's where people choose to complain in that story. But the problem is, people don't want to read books because they they think books is boring to read. But first of all, I like to read books, because books is, is going to help you to learn. Learn new things, new opportunities. I like to read books. I read books of, like I was saying before, about science and world histories and politics and art, art history. I like to read books, because that's what's going to help me to learn, to grow. Help me to expand more. Start seeing new opportunities and what they have available. Everything is available. And another thing about is self-educate. If you want to educate yourself about, about art history. See, that's what people like to do. They like to do self-educate. They want to do their own self-educate. What is something that they like to do? If they want to do something in environment or socially with other people what they're thinking about, what their culture is. You know, what kind of history did they go through? Did they do some they did they go through some good things or some bad things? We don't know. But the whole thing is is learning about your future. It's learning about your education. So that's the topic that I want to mention about is is education because I I want everybody to understand that this is your future. This is something that's going to help you to learn, to grow, and explore. And start understanding the meaning terms about your, about your future, your education, graduating, for example. Can you imagine if you graduate and getting your diploma, how does that make you feel? Does it make you feel proud? Does it make you feel, I'm glad it's over, now I'm ready to move on and find a good job that I'm going to support myself for my family and for my children. Do you ever think that way? Like, do you ever think to yourself saying that? If you have that, then that is the right approach for you. That's going to be your future, folks. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to do whatever it takes to, to be a good student. You know, which, by the way, I've been a good student for a very good time. I mean, I've been a good student for a very long time since I've been in school for five years, and I've done. I did everything. I learned the, the meaning terms about discipline. Start treating fairly to other people. And one thing I want to mention is, is when you go to school, and when you're a student, and when you're talking to staff members or your teachers, learn how to, just, I want you to understand, just learn how to be respectful to your teachers and staff and your like, faculty and staff members. Learn how to be respectful. They want to see in you that you are a good person. You're a very good individual. You're a very good student. You want to learn. You want to, new, you want to learn all the opportunities of what you need to know about. And if you do that, they're, go they're going to like you. They're going to feel, appreciate you. And they will help you. But you have to prove yourself to say, yes, I am a good person. I am a good individual. I am a good student. I want to learn. I want to take this class so I can learn new things. But will it, is, is, will it be hard? Absolutely. But do you say to yourself, I quit? No. Do I keep fighting? Absolutely. And if you're struggling, like for example, let's say if you're taking college algebra. And if you're struggling, 
If you really are struggling, struggling in algebra, here's some few things. Get some help. Find some tutoring that, that might help you more. See, everything is available. They're here to help you. That's what they're here for. They're here to help you. They want to get you in the right path where, where you can take this class and finish with this class. Like, complete it. Make, you know, make good grades. It's not about, it doesn't mean about passing or, let's say, what I'm trying to say is, it does not really matter to me whether as soon as pass or fail. But the whole process is, is, is learn, it's all about learning. If they're learning from this, if they're learning the right way and the proper way, then that's just going to help them to, to get in where they need to be. All right, well, thank you, everybody. Thank you so much for listening and tuning in. And thank you for letting me share my thoughts about, about education. And the reason why I'm, I'm saying this, because I want everybody to have a good chance so they can drive into their future. Get in their degree. If you're getting an associate's or bachelor's, master's, or doctor's degree, if you get these degrees, if this is what you want in your life, then pursue that. That's what's going to help you to get into this mind frame. And the mind frame is to learn about creativities, ideas, imaginations, uh, leaderships, education backgrounds. That is what's going to help you to drive in. Because people think, oh, school is, is a bunch of baloney. I don't really care going to school. I better off to stay home and just play video games. And don't even worry about school. See, that's the wrong way to say that. We shouldn't say to ourselves, I'm going to play video games. I'm not even going to do my homework. So if you say to that self, if you're going to say to yourself, well, I'm going to play video games. I'm going to just look up YouTube or something. If that's, how, if that's your attitude here, then understand the consequences that's going to affect you because one day you're going to regret yourself to say oh I failed this class maybe I should have learned something more I should have let me maybe learn something different in my life even though you don't see that in you but once you realize that then you have a big impact of what it could affect you but the positive part is get what you want Make the right decisions and don't let nobody tell you something different. Don't let nobody take away your education. This is yours. This will be you for the rest of your life. And start expanding that. And if you do, you will be successful. That will be a thumbs up right there. <laughs> okay, well thank you everybody for listening and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.